earlier this summer, I got a really good deal on this mower. The problem was it didn't run and it had a broken spindle pillar. In this video, I'm going to show you how I diagnose and repair the mower, see if it's salvageable. Besides getting a really good deal on the mower, you can see here that it was one of Merle Haggard's picks. There are some things in life you just can't pass up. So when we were loading this, uh, one of the ramps actually broke. It was cracked from the burnout video, and then it actually broke. And in the last ditch, my boss hopped off, grabbed this arm, and we hyperextended this sensor right here. So what I gotta do is loosen up that nut right there, straighten out the sensor, and then it should fire. I got it to fire pushing this in, and then I used some cotter keys just to jump the seat mechanism for now, since I can't sit on it. But I can, I will, I'll be able to undo this. The idea with this mower is to keep all the safety stuff intact, so that way my son can operate it. So I'm gonna get a wrench, loosen that up, try and straighten it out. This one is almost touching when it's like this. That one, this arm here, is about a quarter or maybe less away from the wall when it's uh, closed. So now let's see if it'll start. find a place to unload this now thinking like a ditch somewhere a place where i can back down on the ditch maybe uh then just one ramp i don't think that's gonna work that's too steep So these mowers have a variety of safety switches and you have to do things in the right order or it won't start or it'll shut off. If your mower won't start and you know the battery's good, everything's good, you can check these sensors over and make sure that, uh, you know, that these things that 
sensors for the arm bars. Make sure they're lined up. Make sure that this uh, seat switch here is good. Uh, there's another sensor down here. So you have one on each side. You have that one. And then you have this one here, which is controlled by your parking brake. You can see it going in and out there. There's a way that you can bypass all this stuff and this thing will run um, and mow and start, uh, you know, in all directions and stuff. But I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Uh, one, for safety, and two, just because the way that these hydrostatic things are set up, sometimes you don't want, like you don't want your parking brake on and the ability to go forward and back. So like your parking brake here, when it's on, it'll only start with the arm bars open. And that keeps you from trying to go forward and backwards and pushing these hydrostatic mowers while the brake is on. And it won't start at all without the seat uh, uh, sensor. Even if you jump it off the starter, it won't allow it to fire. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to bypass all that. I really don't think you should. Uh, maybe you are mechanically inclined and you get it and you would never get hurt, but you might sell it. You might you know, have a kid come run it. Personally, I, I prefer to keep safety stuff intact. So yeah, so my son should be able to run this. If you want to see how I replaced this spindle pillar here, I'll have another video out shortly showing how I did it. Thanks again for your time.